This is something that's been very true for me. I lived my life by having certainty for the longest time. You know, I went to college. College, you'll get a good job. You don't have to sell yourself. You don't have to deal with rejection. Just go to college and you'll get a job and you'll get money. There was certainty in that. I worked a job for a little bit. So in college, it was easy to make money because my needs were already paid for. My parents had, you know, they, they paid for me to go to college. You know, ah, whatever, not everybody gets that. But yeah, fuck, you know, I it was good. But I made money during college because I was never worried about meeting my basic needs. It was a really nice feeling. After college, I couldn't stand that uncertainty because I had to pay for myself after college. I wanted a job. I wanted that consistent thing. I was so, so scared of not knowing where my next paycheck was going to come from. So I took a job for two years. After Two years after college, I think I was making like 10 grand a month. I was very good at marketing. I moved my way up fast in my company, if you're wondering. And the scariest thing ever was I started doing my own stuff. I started doing my own, uh, getting my own clients, you know, to advertise for, to manage their Google AdWords and to do affiliate marketing for. I got two clients that were paying me $10,000 a month and I had a couple other clients that were paying me $1,000 each. The scariest thing I ever did was quit my job. It was so fear inducing. I could be fired anytime from my job. They loved me. I added an extra $120,000 per month to the paychecks of my one or two bosses. I started making $24,000 a month, but it was still so scary to quit my job because I was worried about what if I lost that money? What if I lost that time? What if I don't do good work? It's all on me now. I have nothing to fall back on. What if I lose the client and I can't ever get new clients? What if I never find new clients ever again? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if shit comes up? I don't know. What if they don't pay me? What if a lawyer sues me for something and I run my own company now and I don't want to deal with those problems? Do I have to do my own taxes? I don't know all this stuff and this is scary. It was paralyzing. Thank God I made the jump into that uncertainty because going into that uncertainty is one of the scariest things you will ever do. It is one of the scariest things I ever did, but you have to get used to going into uncertainty. I mean, it catapulted my life. Obviously, I was 23 or something and I was making 25,000 a month and it actually went up. Over the years, it went up. I made as much as $500,000 per month. My quality of life increased, needless to say, because I got so good. I built a big marketing agency. I'm doing a lot of affiliate marketing. I'm still doing affiliate marketing. I only work with one client to this day. That's my life. That's the way I run my business and it's pretty cool. But it's because I got in touch and dealt with my own uncertainty about making big decisions in my life. It's because I got in touch and I was comfortable with uncertainty going on. Now, for you, you have to ask yourself what level of uncertainty are you willing to deal with? And you have to ask yourself, how is that affecting how much success you see in your life, in your relationship, etc.? Because again, if you're not willing to deal with uncertainty, it's going to affect what opportunities are going to be available for you. Now, another kind of short story from my life pertains to my relationship because I want to make sure like you guys understand this is not just all business, right? This is life and you got to get used to it. You got to deal with uncertainty. If you haven't been, you might want to consider it. Now, in my relationship, I was deathly afraid. My wife has epilepsy, just to let you know, and she has seizures, you know, the seizures where kind of like uh, she loses all the context of where she is, what's called a grand mal seizure, which is like exorcism. Basically, I have a massive fear of abandonment. I'm deathly afraid of things happening to my wife, her leaving me in some form or fashion. That caused me to be controlling in my relationship both emotionally and physically controlling, which was no bueno, as they say in Mexico. It was not good. I thought it was helping us stay together in our relationship, but what it was actually doing long-term, it was gonna pull us apart and it was gonna ruin our relationship if I kept being controlling. What I had to do is I had to take a big chance and I had to get rid of my fear of abandonment. I had to say to her, okay, you wanna go to your parents' house for a night or two? Sure, do what you need to do. I don't agree with that. You know, I'd like to talk about it, but. I'm not gonna try to manipulate you into staying here if that's truly your choice. And that was one of the scariest things for me in my life because I love my wife. We've known each other for 10 years. It's fearful if I opened that door, that option was available. Everything, you know, it would all end badly and all fall apart. But what I realized was that in doing that, in getting over, in taking that risk, it wasn't really a risk. I perceived it as a risk, but in taking that risk, accepting the uncertainty that came with that risk that she 
could leave me and just give her more freedom. I, in a sense, I didn't create that out and our relationship has been much better. So I had to deal with uncertainty in my personal life in order to grow our relationship to the next level. So again, what is an area where you are deathly afraid of dealing with uncertainty and you know you need to deal with that uncertainty to grow, grow your relationship, grow your business, et cetera. So remember your success is measured by the level of uncertainty you're willing to endure. Good. Get over yourself. Let me know in the comments where in your life you're going to newfound have uncertainty so that you can grow. You need to know. So good talking to you guys. Love you guys as always coming to you from West Palm Beach, home of Donald Trump and Tony Robbins. So see you guys. Oh, John, absolutely one of the best teachers there are. Hey, John, Mike Spencer here. It's Memorial Day. Uh, I've made uh, a couple of sales, so I appreciate you, John. Hi, John. I wanted to take a quick moment to give you a quick testimonial. Uh, yesterday, I made my first online affiliate commission. I am absolutely, uh, totally excited. And for the first time, I really see that, you know, I have a future in this and I have someone who has my back. So again, John, just thank you so much for your time to just uh, help everybody in the group and just to give us, you know, nothing but, but value week after week after week. Again, thank you so much.